Yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome to my first Hardcore Iron Man walkthrough guide. And this isn't just any walkthrough guide. This is going to be the efficiency guide. We're going to be following Osiris's pace spin on his uh, Iron Man guide V3. So I have that linked in the bio for you. And we're just going to get right into it. First thing you want to do, make sure you start out as a female character for the recruitment drive quest. And we're just going to keep the bot looking full send. And in the name of efficiency, I set my account name as less clicks. All right, and make sure you set your Iron Man status before you leave. I'm going to be playing a hardcore, and we are taking this hardcore all the way to max, baby. All right, so first thing we're going to do, as soon as you spawn in, we are going to run up into the upstairs of Lumbee Castle. We are going to talk to Duke Horacio. Starts up quests. So once you have the air talisman, you're going to go back down gonna pick up all the spawns from the items in the kitchen and the cellar make sure you when you grab the jug you fill the jug up with water and we're gonna go downstairs grab the spawns down here gonna pick up a pair of leather boots you're gonna put those on I'm gonna grab the cabbage spawn then we're gonna go back up I'm gonna run out here probably should have done this first but we're gonna start the restless ghost quest with father eric start the restless ghost quest and then we're gonna go up to the top of lumbridge castle and light some logs all right so bank your items and get to lighten except for your tinder box you're gonna need a tinder box all right and while you're uh, lighting the fires hop in between the free-to-play worlds this is the perfect opportunity to uh get a bond on that account i'm assuming a lot of you guys are gonna have a second account so go ahead and send one of those over from your main or whatever account you're using and then you can redeem that and then you can hop between the members world so you don't have to uh rely on the free to play world so after you get 15 fire making go grab your knife put your tinder box away you're going to start hopping worlds again and pick up all the logs until you can fletch them into a thousand arrow shafts all right after you get about two inventories of logs make sure you light another inventory or pick up the ashes from uh one of the fires that you had before because you're going to need to put four ashes in the bank and so as these logs start to respawn in these will be the last four that you need to get your thousand and then as you're finishing up fletching those logs these fires will start to turn in the ashes that you need to put in the bank all right then after you get those ashes you also need one log you're going to put that all in your bank so you can go ahead and deposit everything take out all your cash and we're going to run downstairs we're going to quick hop a couple cabbages on the basement so we have some food and then we're going to start thieving men uh, for GP for Steel Axe. All right, so once you've uh, thieved your, or, uh, picked yourself some cabbages, we're going to go thieve the man, like we said. So you want to thieve them until you get 270 GP. All right, so once you have that 270 GP, go over here and buy a Steel Axe from Bob's Axes in Lumbridge. All right, so after you buy the Steel Axe, run to the bank real quick. You're going to want to grab the Air Talisman and also your Short Bow. That way you can kill a rat. Make sure you walk so that way you can save a little bit of run energy because there is muggers. You do have the wizards. You have the jail guards on the way to Drainer. So just make sure you have a little bit of run energy that you can work with as you're trying to make your way through these next steps. So you can go ahead and safe spot the rat right here. Like I said, just watch out for the mugger that's on the top left side there. All right, so after you kill the rat, like I said, dodge the mugger here. Take the meat and then keep on running over towards Drainer. Grab a spade and a rake out of the shack at Xanaris. All right, go ahead and go to Father Ernie's shack, talk to him, get the ghost speak amulet, and then go ahead and equip that and go to the wizard tower. All right, so once you're at the wizard tower, go ahead and give him your air talisman that you got when you started the quest. So you'll go ahead and get the research package that you take on a Varrock. And then we're going to head back into Drainer. Make sure you kind of run through here. Pay close attention to your surroundings too. You have the jail guards here, which are pretty strong. You also don't want to die to one of the wizards in Drainer Bank. Just make sure you run your way through and we're going up here to Aggie's house. All right, so once you get to Aggie's house, you're going to go ahead and take cheese off the table. And you're going to quick hop and get a cheese from another world. And then we're going to start to head west. All right, so once you get west, come over here to Hobgoblin Isle. We're going to grab a snake grass and then save a little run energy so you can get out without getting harmed too bad. And we're going to go up to Falador. All right, so you, once you walked your way to Falador, go ahead and talk to the squire. Start the Knight Swords quest. And then once you've started the quest, you can go ahead and minigame teleport to Clan Wars, which is now the Ferrex Enclave. So you can go ahead and recharge your uh, run energy here by just going in and out of the portal. Uh, you can either use the pool of refreshment or just go in and out of the free-for-all portal. I don't think one's really quicker than the other, but, you know, whatever you want to do. Then you're going to run through the barrier here. 
Hopefully there's no level three hardcore Iron Man hunters. And we're going to go just up here to the northwest and grab ourselves this iron bar spawn. So you grab one, we're gonna hop worlds. We're gonna grab a second iron bar and then we're gonna go back into the enclave and teleport. So again, you can recharge your run energy if you wanna get back that extra uh, 25 run energy or whatever you used. And then we're going to go into the Castle Wars portal. Once you're at the Castle Wars portal, you can go ahead and use the bank. You can throw everything in there that you have. You're going to take out your coins, your steel axe, your tinderbox, your jug of water, and one of your logs. And then you're going to start running to you know, or walk. I'm going to go ahead and run about 25 uh, run energy, and then we'll go ahead and walk the rest of the way. Let that recharge up kind of slowly, obviously, since we're only one agility, unfortunately. All right, so once you're in Yanil, you're gonna go on the southern side of it. You're gonna check the hunter store for the diary. We're gonna go ahead and just run here. So you're just gonna trade with one of the guys. You're gonna complete the easy task. Then you're gonna go up to the cooking shop and we're gonna buy a pie dish. Go ahead and buy a pie dish. That's gonna be for the red berry pie for the night sword quest. Then we're gonna go ahead and run over to Port Hazard. All right, so once you get to Port Hazard, you're gonna go in here and the shopkeeper buy a swamp paste and then you're gonna keep going north towards the Ardong Monastery. You do want to save your run energy uh, just a little bit because we're going to start the Monk's Friend quest here and you are going to have to run down into dangerous areas. So make sure you save yourself just a little bit. And once you get to the monastery, go ahead and talk to Brother Omad. So you start the quest and he's going to tell you to return the blanket. So you're going to go to the west side and look for the Ring of Stone. So once you walk into it, the lateral will open. This is where you're going to want to turn your run energy on. You're going to take the path directly south. That's what I'm talking about. The little uh, thieves will hit two. So you'll find the child's blanket on the table. You take that. You run back out. Only took four damage, so not too bad. Climb up the ladder and you can turn your run energy off and walk. All right, let's go ahead and take your blanket back. And then you're going to go have to find Brother Cedric. So once you talk to him, tell him you're going to find Brother Cedric. Then you go directly north. All right, so Brother Cedric will be just north of the monastery. He'll be up here by the edge of the wall at the zoo. So you're going to talk to him. So this is why you need a jug of water. So you give that to him. Then he's going to say he needs some wood to fix the cart. You go ahead and get him some logs, which you should already have. Then once you do that, you can run back down to the monastery and you'll tell Brother Omad that you've done the thing for him. All right, so there we go. 2,000 woodcutting XP. It's going to give us 13 woodcutting. All right, so after you do the monk's friend quest, you can uh, start chopping the single trees until you have 15 woodcutting. All right, woo, 15 woodcutting, yay. All right, so after you get the 15 woodcutting, you can go down here. You can do it wherever, but I like to use this little southeast side. So you start chopping the oaks. So just keep fire making them, keep woodcutting them all the way up until you get to level 35 woodcutting. And then whenever you have, whatever fire making you have at that point will work. All right, so that's 35 fire making. And then instead of fire making all the logs, I just kept uh, chopping trees until I got 35 woodcutting. So we get that knocked out. And then we'll go do sea slug quest. All right, so you're gonna go ahead and bank everything, and then we're gonna go thieve some cakes. So you're gonna want to go ahead and thieve cake until you get 20 thieving. You're gonna bank all the cake that you get, and you also need 15 loaves of bread. You stand in this spot right here on top of the baker, but you can just spam click the cakes as you continue to loot them. All right, so once you have 15 bread, then you can go ahead and just keep thieving cakes. You can drop any of the bread or chocolate cake slices that you get, and you're gonna do this till 20 thieving. All right, so this should be our last cake or bread. So you're going to get 20 thieving. You can go ahead and throw those in the bank. Then once you bank the last bit of cakes that you have and you have the 20 thieving, you can go over here and start thieving silk. And of course, I'm going to get chased after the first try. Easiest way to do this is if you, uh, if you get all the NPCs trapped in the house to the north. But if you can't, just pay attention. Just pay attention. Just pay attention. Just pay attention. <laughs> And that's why we pay attention. So let's start over with the new account and get right back to where we left off. We renamed this new account, pay attention, idiot, because fitting, you know? Yeah, let's not die the same way we just did. Holy shit. All right. And once you get 25 thieving on the silk, you're going to go bank all those. You're going to have to sell them to the silk trader, but there's a cooldown on that till you can resell them to them. So in the meantime, we're going to go do the sheep herder quest. So what you want to do, you want to go ahead and get six cakes out of the bank because you're going to need to sell them uh, to get enough GP to start the quest. And then make sure you save some run energy too. So that way you can actually keep up with the sheep if need be. All right, so you sell your cake, you get 100 GP, then you can go up here and start the quest. All right, feed your poison food to the sheep. Throw all the bones in the incinerator and then talk to the guy and finish the quest for 3k. So you can uh, run out your prayer on the way here and pray at the altar. That'll also complete a diary step for you. 
All right, let's go ahead and head back to the bank. You can keep your GP, but take out your swamp pace, your small fishing net, and then go do sea sub quest, which is off to the east. All right, talk to this girl and talk to this dude. Fix his dumbass boat and then take a ride with the stranger. While you're here, make sure you fish the shrimp on the pier for the diary. All right, so we'll go ahead and talk to Caroline. This will complete sea slug. Nice, gives us 24 fishing. Then you'll go down here to the Witch Haven fishing shop and buy a bunch of sardines. Those are going to be used to feed your cat when you start raising them for death runes. And then you're going to go bank those. All right, so go ahead and go to the bank. Bank everything you have in your inventory, which are your silk, and start selling that to the silk trader up in the Artie Square. So when you talk to him, the best way to do this is offer 120. Then he's going to return 50, and then you return 60. And that's going to give you the max cash that you'll get for the silk. So you do this with all the silk that you banked from the thieving grind to get about 10k or so all right so we got 10.8k at this point so next thing you do take your cash go over here to the house and uh pick up a player own house from the guy in the building so after you have the 10k for selling the silk go over here to the estate agent to buy a player own house then after that go over to the general store you're gonna buy a full inventory of balls of wool and then in your second inventory you buy the last three balls of wool that are in there you're also going to buy seven papyrus, two ropes, and a vial pack. So after you pick those things up, go ahead and throw them in the bank. And then you're going to want to withdraw your coins, a rope, a spade, and a little bit of food. And so after you grab your items, you're going to start making your way north. You want to dig at this tree right here to pick up some clue hunter gear. And then keep walking toward north towards barbarian assault. On the way up, stop at Rizzolo and buy a green green man's ale. And then you're going to keep going north up until you get to the dwarf area. So you're going to go ahead and start the dwarf cannon quest. And you're going to do it up until the point where you have to go to Ice Mountain. Alright, so go ahead and walk your way up to the Barbarian Assault Bank. Do the tutorials so that way you have the minigame teleport. Then go ahead and start the bar crawl. And then you're going to quick hop planks here until you have about 150 in the bank. All right, so once you have all the planks in your bank, go ahead and start the waterfall quest. And you're gonna do the quest all the way up into the point where you have to go to the gnome stronghold maze. All right, after that, walk to the gnome stronghold. All right, so once you're in the gnome stronghold, get your bark crawl card if you don't have it already. Buy a drink from Blurberry for the bark crawl. And then go to the Eastern room and buy these items from Heckle Fund. You're gonna get one pineapple, one orange, two lemons, cocktail glass, cocktail shaker, dwell berries, bucket of milk, and chocolate dust. After you buy those items, go up to the third floor and down here to the weapons area. You're gonna trade Gullick and we're gonna be buying uh, bronze arrow tips. So you're gonna buy 100 per world and you wanna get 1,000 of them. All right, so once you have the 1,000 arrow tips, go ahead and bank everything. And then you're gonna wanna withdraw a rope, dwell berries, and the stuff you need for the hangover cure for the quest plague city all right so once you walk down to already go ahead and do the plague city quest all right and that's plague city done so we get 15 mining and our dong teleport scroll all right so after you complete the quest go ahead and home tally and go ahead and go to the bank you're gonna want to make sure you have your coins your ghost beak amulet equipped and then start running north to Verok and go to the sawmill all right once you get to the sawmill buy a saw and then you're going to want to quick hop around and buy 500 bronze nails and 400 steel nails all right so once you bought the nails go ahead and mini game teleport to clan wars go ahead and bank everything that you just picked up uh all your saw nails all that stuff and pull out your axe and tinderbox recharge your run energy and then you're going to teleport over to castle wars once you're at castle wars run all the way southwest to the tea tree and you're gonna cut and fire make the logs until you get 50 wood or uh, 50 fire making and then whatever wood cutting level you get with will do all right and 50 fire making as soon as you get the 50 fire making go ahead and drop the rest of your logs and uh, tele home to lumberage talk to the ghost for the restless ghost quest and then you're gonna start running to drainer all right once you're a drainer bank your axe and tinderbox and then go ahead and pull out all your cash you're gonna want to buy a teleport book chronicle and five teleport cards chronicle teleports you can go ahead and stack those in and equip them then you go back to the bank and you want to pull out these things now bronze nails steel nails saw arrow heads arrow shafts note all your planks your hammer your hammer and make sure you give yourself a full inventory of planks that are unnoted you do want to leave 10 planks in the bank for questing and you also want to leave one inventory space to buy a thousand feathers from port serum all right so go ahead and buy 10 feather packs from Duran over here 
Then after you're buying, done buying the feathers, walk over to the Remington portal and start doing some construction in your house. So you're gonna start by making wooden chairs until level four. And then from level four, make bookcases until you run out of the planks. All right, this will be the last of the planks that we had. Just gonna use those up. And that got us to 19 construction, although results may vary. After you're done doing the construction, you're gonna go ahead and run back to Port Serum. Talk to Veos to travel over to Zaya. And then start walking your way to Winter Tot. And as you walk your way to Winter Tot, you're going to want to fletch the uh, the arrows. Because arrows. the goal here is to get high enough fletching to get decent XP while you're in the Winter Tot minigame. So while you're walking there, just fletch all your arrows. And then once we get to Winter Tot, we should have the construction level that you got, which I got 19. And then also the fletching level that you achieve on your way walking there. And once you've fletched all those arrows and you've walked your way into Winter Tot, it's time to get 99 Fire Make. But that's going to take my inefficient ass a little while to do. So I'll see you in the next video with some crate opening.